Hi guys, in this video we're gonna take a look at working with JavaScript classes, which was introduced in ECMAScript 6. Now if you're used to working with uh, object-oriented programming, you're probably familiar with, its, with this syntax. Now, JavaScript classes is not some kind of a new object-oriented inheritance model. It's rather a clearer syntax to create objects and to work with inheritance. And yes, as with JavaScript functions, there are two ways to declare JavaScript classes. The first way is called a class declaration. The syntax for a class declaration is class followed by the class name. So let's say we want to create a class named parent. It would look like that. Now the second way to define a class is called a class expression. The syntax is variable, let's say parent, equals with class, like that. But for this video, we're going to use the class declaration syntax. So I'm going to remove this. Now, something to keep in mind when working with classes is that a JavaScript class is not hoisted like a function. So if I were about to, let's say, variable p equals with new parent, and hit run, we will get an error saying parent is not defined. However, if I move this to the bottom of the code, hit clear, and then hit run again, you can see we don't get the warning. Warning. Now the function doesn't do anything, so it won't say anything, but it works. And now it doesn't work when you put it up here because JavaScript classes are not hoisted. They are not moved to the top of the code. If I were about to change this class to a function, let's say, um, we can say function parent and hit run now. Just gonna hit clear first and then run. You can see we don't get the warning either, that's because JavaScript functions are ho hoisted. So f this is important to keep in mind when structuring your code so you don't have any unnecessary errors. errors. But now we're just gonna, let's start by creating a new class. So class followed by class name. Let's name this class parent. First thing we're gonna do inside the class is define a constructor, like that. Now inside the class you have one constructor and one constructor only. The constructor is ran automatically each time the parent class is instantiated. So just to show you how this works, let's create a new property uh, to the parent class. Let's name it name and give it a value of parent. So now go down here and let's create a new uh, instance of the parent class. So let's say variable p equals with new parent. And I hit run. Oh, sorry. Let's also add a console.log here so we can see some output of some kind. Uh, so let's just console.log this.name. And hit run. As you can see, we're getting the parent, which is the property that, that we're console.logging. So the constructor method is in, uh, ran automatically each time the class is uh, instantiated. Now, to create a method that it can be called manually whenever you want, you just create a new method like this. Let's say get name. And inside the get name function, let's say console.log this.name. And then go down here and let's say p, which is the parent class, dot get name. And hit run. And as you can see, it's console.logging the parent. Now it's console.log two times before we're, because we're also, uh, also console.logging inside the constructor. So I'm just going to remove that, like that. Hit clear and hit run. And we get one console.log log of the parent string. Okay. Now you can also create static methods inside the JavaScript class. It's done like this, the static keyword, followed by uh, the function name or the method name. Let's call this method get some. And let's just make it console.log uh, get some method ran. All right, now to, to call a static method, you don't have to 
uh, create a new instance of the class. Okay, so you can just say parent dot get some. Hit clear, and then hit run. As you can see, get some method ran without instantiating or creating a new instance of the parent class. So that's how you create normal methods, and that's how you create static methods. Now we're also going to take a look at the inheritance. So we can do right now. Let's remove this static method and remove that. And just create a new class with a class declaration syntax. So we can name this child. Let's create a constructor for child. And actually, inside the con constructor, let's pass a name as a parameter. And then we're gonna say super and pass name. And then let's just say console.log this.name. Now this won't do anything, or we actually might get an even get an error. But what we're gonna do now is go up here to class shell and add extends parent. So now this class extends the parent class, okay? And we're also accessing the name property from the parent inside the child class with the super keyword. Okay? So now let's go down here and create a new instance of the child class. So let's say variable c equals with new child. And hit clear and then run. As you can see, we're actually console.logging the name property of the parent now. So we're inheriting the name property from the parent. I'm just gonna add some spacing here to make it easy to read. So that's how we can pass properties. Now let's say maybe we wanted to access the get name function inside the parent from the child class. So how would we do that? Well, we would simply say like this. Let's say console. Oh, by the way, it's console.login inside the get name, so we don't have to use console.log instead. Let's just say super dot, then the method we want to call from the parent, which in this case is get name. And then hit clear, and let's hit run. And as you can see, we're getting the name now from the parent function get name inside the child class. So yeah, that's some basics on how to work with JavaScript classes and also how to work with inheritance, with properties, and uh, how to access parent functions. Hope you learned something. Bye-bye.